Hello. This is lesson seven variables with artists. This lesson, you will explore the creation of repetitive designs using variables in the artist environment. You will also learn how variables can be used to make code easier to write and easier to read, even when the values don't change at run time. Here you will uh, learn how to assign values to existing variables, utilize variables in place of repetitive values inside of a program. Vocabulary. We have a constant and a variable. What is a constant and what is a variable? A constant is a variable used throughout a program that never changes value. Whereas variable, a placeholder for a piece of information that can change. So here we have two types of codes. When run move forward by an empty space, that empty space is for a variable. If you notice the second one, it shows variable on number 50. A variable is a container that you can store a value in. When you use that variable in an algorithm, it opens up the container and looks at the value inside. This lets you write smarter algorithms that behave differently depending on the value stored in the variable. For example, if you wanted to write an algorithm to say, happy birthday, you're turning 10, to my little brother, that's great now, but when I run it next year, I'd want it to say, happy birthday, you're turning 11. I could create a variable called age to store my brother's age and write my algorithm to say, happy birthday, you're turning age instead. Because variables can change, each year I can update the variable age to equal age plus one. In this puzzle, we're going to be using a variable that will set the length of the line our artist draws. Later on in our code, the move forward block will look at that length variable to see what value you've set it to. Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve lesson seven, variables with artists. What is a variable? A variable is a placeholder for a piece of information that can change. When can a variable be helpful? Do you know? When you don't know what information is going to be used in a certain place until runtime, or when you have lots of places that one piece of information will be used, but that information might change someday. So let's start doing practice number one. In this puzzle, let us draw an equilateral triangle. It has to be exactly 50 pixels long on each side. To do this, we have to move forward by 50 pixels. Here the 50 pixels is the variable. Then we have to turn left by 120 degree. Here the 120 degree also is a variable. Here it's fixed but in other exercises it will be unknown or changeable. In the equilateral triangle, we have three sides, so I have to use repeat three times. Let's check it. Congratulations, you completed puzzle number one. Let's move to the next one. In this puzzle, we have three equilateral triangles sitting next to each other. 
the, the previous one, we have to use the same code. Move forward by 50 pixels, then turn left. We have to do that three times to draw our first triangle. So what do you think we have to do next? How many triangles do we have here? One, two, three. So we have to use repeat three times, one more time. So I have to use the loop again and put this one inside here. Okay, so far we draw three triangles, but we still missing one block. Anyone knows which one? We have to use here move forward by 50 to jump to the next triangle or draw the next triangle. Let's try it. Okay, congratulations, you completed puzzle number two. Let's move to the next one. Okay, in this one, we have set of variables length to 50. What will happen when you click run? So I have here to choose the correct answer. So look at the code, I will give you like five seconds to check it. When run, set length to 50, repeat it three times. So do you think the artist will draw a triangle with 50 pixel sides? Or the artist will draw a 50-sided polygon with three pixel sides? Or the artist will draw three open sides with 50 degree turn? Or we don't know. So which one is the correct one? I will answer this on my live session. So I will give you time to do it by yourself. Try to solve the rest on your own. I will see you all on my live Zoom session. Stay safe and good luck. I hope to see you all on live Zoom and please stay safe. Thank you.